Hi, this is Steve from yourcreativelife.com talking today about pilot scripts versus spec scripts, what people are looking for in terms of showrunners, executives, and all that stuff, and why. Well, you know, this is sort of a, I want to say it's an age old question, but it's really a newer question because back in the day when I was first coming into the industry, I don't know, uh, 10, 15, maybe even 20 years ago, pilots were not really a thing. Um, I mean, not that they didn't exist, but it was mostly that people wanted and were interested in spec scripts. Now, but what I mean by spec scripts are scripts that are a model version of a show that already exists. So let's say a spec fire country, fire country is already on the air or a spec Grey's Anatomy or you know a spec, uh, you name it, uh, the morning show. That's what we're talking about when we talk about a spec. It's basically somebody else has created the characters, the format, the franchise, the energy, and you as a writer are coming in with your spin on a particularly, perhaps hopefully interesting episode that uses those characters and formats that we've seen before, but in an entirely new and fascinating way. And those are spec scripts as opposed to a pilot where you have created everything. You've created the world and the characters and the dilemma and the central premise and the themes, and you build it from the ground up in order to show that you can do that. You can build a world from the ground up. So the question is pilots versus spec scripts. Now, ideally, I'm gonna give you, at first at least, I'm gonna give you the cop-out answer, which is both. It, at the end of the day, when you get hired on a TV show, or if you've already been on one, you know this, the job of being a writer on a TV show is basically to write specs because you are uh, mirroring, modeling what the creator has already done. You're already taking that person's characters and scenario and circumstances and all of that and you're creating a brand new iteration of that because that's what television is for anyone who didn't create a show is basically that form of imitation, which is the job. So it's important to know that that's the job and that writing a spec script is an excellent skill because it essentially mirrors what we do in a TV writer's room. However, what most people are looking for in terms of entry into the business, in terms of getting meetings, in terms of you know, uh, connecting with executives and studios and showrunners are pilot scripts. And here's why. Pilot scripts, because they are more complicated, there's more for you as a writer to do on the page. So it's a very high bar, but it does give that person, that executive showrunner, whoever it is, the chance to see what you do, your pure instincts in terms of creating character, what kind of worlds you're interested in, what your personal perspective and points of view are. And it gives a lot more of the creative sort of mojo of what you bring to the table. It's much harder to do than a spec, I will venture to say uh, on some level. And because of that, it shows a lot more about who you are and what your skill set is. And I think most importantly, really what's important to you as a person. Because obviously, if you create a show that takes place during a, an earthquake disaster or a sci-fi world and it's about survival, we know, I know, or I'm going to make up by reading it, that you're a person who's very interested in human survival. And maybe, you know, when I talk to you more, you've had a survivalist background or you've done some camping or you survived an earthquake or you, you know, fill in the blank. And it tells me immediately something about you and your instincts to see something that you've created from the ground up and gives me a sense of who you are on the page before I even meet you. That's a little less true for say a spec Grey's Anatomy or a fire country or, uh, or, uh, or anything else uh, because those characters are largely formed. And even though you created the scenarios, it kind of gives me a little less of a window into who you are. Um, and the last thing I'll say about it is that because of the high bar of creating a pilot, there are so many other things to look out for. You know, am I getting a sense of the world? Am I getting a sense of the characters? Am I getting a sense of uh, the locations? And are you describing those things well? And have you built, you know, something that looks like TV, even though it's not currently on TV, 
uh, it gives me more of a sense of both your technical skills, but also what you bring to the table emotionally, spiritually, energetically, and what you're curious about in the world. And that's why pilots are much more uh, in vogue these days and much more what uh, agents and all of those higher ups and gatekeepers are most interested in because they really want to know how much you can do on the page and pilots tell them more of that. I hope you've enjoyed this. Give it a thumbs up. If you did, subscribe to this channel because I put out a brand new video every single week. Go to yourcreativelife.com to find out all things about how I can help you as a coach and some of my other offerings, the uh, free ones like this YouTube page and my monthly newsletter, which comes out uh, all the time, every month, once a month. That's why it's monthly and uh, gives you some perspective on what you might do, investigate or try to survive, thrive, and enhance your writing life. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.